Thousands of protesters have condemned the Israeli attacks on Gaza and Lebanon. Many protesters also marked the death of Hezbollah's leader, Hassan Nasrallah. Hands off Lebanon! All around the country, thousands poured onto the streets, angry over the rising death toll in Gaza and now Lebanon. I'm just horrified by what's happening. The war's been going on for a year. It's only escalating. We're not sure why our children, our women, our men don't matter, why the government won't speak up in our favour and demand that Israel stops. But one loss loomed especially large over the crowds today. We mourn the death of Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah. He was the mother, he was the father of Lebanon. He brought comfort, he brought security. We, when we wanted answers, we turned to him. After nearly a year of rallies supporting Gaza and now Lebanon, many of these protesters say they are sick and tired of Israel's attacks on Arab lands. And they are again calling on the Australian government to apply more diplomatic pressure and sanction Israel. We've been engaging with all the parties we can to urge de-escalation and restraint. I'm really overhearing people be alarmed and concerned without backing up their words with action. Clearly they seem very adamant to tread on the same course that they have been for the last 11 to 12 months. After 51 weeks of calling on the Albanese government for change, protesters say they've seen none. You are again and forever on the wrong side of history. Damn Australian policies when it comes to the Middle East. A sentiment they'll project even louder next week as they complete a year of weekly protests. Nabila Nashar, ABC News.